Good evening, friends, and welcome to Shearwater Arena here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. We're on the Dartmouth side on a beautiful night in gorgeous Dartmouth. Great to have you with us for East, uh, East Coast Junior Lacrosse right here on Bella Lion Community One. And tonight it is the Battle of the Bridges. Halifax Northwest has made their way across the McDonald or the McKay to be at the arena. And we got a rematch game here as well if you were with us on Wednesday night. As you recall, what a game that was with the Dartmouth Bandits winning 12-9. A huge victory on enemy turf, winning at the Spryfield Lions rink. So it's rematch night here in Dartmouth. And again, this Bandits team, they come in with a record of 2-0 on the season. And the Halifax Northwest, the Marley Lions, they come in with a record of 1-1. Dartmouth has outscored their competition 26-14 so far this season. The Lions, they're even Steven. 18 and 18 so far are the Lions. Goals for, goals against. They started off the season with a 9-6 victory over the Halifax Southwest Hurricanes. And then, of course, again, that 12-9 loss. Dartmouth, they beat the Mi'kmaq Warriors here last week with Steve Betts. On the call, they beat the Warriors 14-5. And then, again, that 12-9 victory in Spryfield. Brandon DeVoe is in net once again for the Halifax Northwest Marley Lions. And Jean Boutin back in net as well for the Bandits in this rematch game. Players to watch. Bobby Greer, he's the leading scorer uh, for the Bandits. He has nine points. Justin Graham has eight. And uh, Greg Nussie as well with nine points. Also for Halifax Northwest, the Marley Lions, nine points so far this season for Patty Quinn, five goals and four assists, and John McDonald, three goals and six assists. Look out for the Northwest Lions with that 7-11 combination of Patty Quinn and John McDonald. McDonald, the assist man, and Patty Quinn, the trigger man. All right, so B. McLean Sports on Twitter. Hope that you can reach out to me throughout the game. Contact information right there on your screen. Feedback, comments, opinions, let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering for. Let's settle in for a night of lacrosse. But first, we pause for O Canada. All right, a stirring rendition of our nation's anthem to begin the night here. Friday night lacrosse 
at Shearwater. The 2-0 and Bandits versus the 1-1 one and one Northwest Marley Lions. We're in a good time tonight. Again, contact information on the screen. Hope to hear from you. Out there for Dartmouth, usual suspects in that starting lineup. Greg Nussie, Justin Graham, Trey Carvery, Nick Simpson, and Ryan Daly. Over there for the Lions. McCallum in the starting lineup. Along with G. Clark. Justin Meisner out there. Gavin Quigley. And rounding out the starting lineup, Keith Langell. So a hard-working starting lineup here for this Lions team. Trying to set the play pace early with a little bit of uh, hard work and physicality. And there you go right away. Fighting hard for it is Neil McCallum. And coming away with it is McCallum to the near side. 24 seconds on the shot clock. We're looking at our first possession of the game in the stick of Justin Meisner. Meisner on the far side. Comes to John McDonald. Right on the floor comes John. One goal and five assists yesterday, or uh, Wednesday night for John at the Spryfield Lions rink in that game against the Bandits on that 12-9 defeat. An interesting game again on uh, Wednesday. The, it was back and forth for a while, and then some separation for the Bandits. They get out to a 7-4 lead after giving up a 4-2 lead, and then the Lions actually took the lead on four consecutive goals, four straight goals for the Lions to make it 8-7. But then the Bandits took over and outscored the Lions 4-1 to one down the stretch to win that one to finish off 12-9. to nine. So that was a very interesting game. Again, the Bandits they, the Bandits had a lot of late goals as well. They had goals with a uh, six-tenths of a second left in the first period. They had a goal with 24 seconds remaining in the second period. Uh, so the Bandits really took advantage of some late goals. And they also had one flurry where they scored three goals in about 28 seconds at the end of the first period and going into the second. So that was really kind of one of the major storylines for this Bandits team. But now it's the Lions with a quick start here. And it's Thomas Sangster. He had a big night the other night, did Sangster. So put him on the board with the first goal of the game. 18-30 uh, remaining here. I actually checked that. It didn't go in. So no goat dice for Sangster. I thought it was a goal. No dice on that for Sangster. Clark still running, 18-20, and still a scoreless game. Ball to the near side. And there's the Bandits setting up at the blue line. Up top with it is Liver. Lawrence Liver. And over the far side, Nussie, and a shot clock violation back this way. 18 minutes remaining, and a fresh shot clock for the Bandits. So again, Brandon DeVoe in net for the Lions, and in the net for the Bandits is John Boutin. Near side, here's Chris Walker. Four points so far this year for Chris. Three goals and an assist. Trying to back down his man. Gets a screen, a shot right on the save for DeVoe or Bhutan. High in the air, brought down by Clark Hannum. Five points this year for Clark. In behind the net with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Watched over there by Niall Sear. Ball bouncing around the near side boards and taken away. Scooped up by John Boutin. Boutin likes to pass from that goaltending position, but this time he'll hand off to a defender. And coming down the floor is Lawrence Liver. Little handoff there for Bobby Green. And Green, the high scorer on this team. Six goals, three assists. Justin Graham, shot goes through. Can't get it to Ryan Daly. And coming away on the near side is Don McEachern. First call from McEachern, 16.56 remaining here in your opening frame. So again, B. McLean Sports on Twitter. Hope to hear from you throughout the broadcast. Comments, feedback, shout-outs, opinions. McDonald with a man in front, and there is a goal. The Lions are on the board. John McDonald scores a good screen there from Sangster on the play, and it is now officially 1-0 for the Lions. So McDonald scores. And it is McDonald with his 10th point of the year. One of the leading scorers in the conference now. 10 points on the season. A little push on the near side. Bortz trying to shake free is Carvery. Carvery speeding across the blue line. Carvery scores. Just like that, the Bandits respond. 
So that's the seventh point of the year for Trey Carvery and his fifth goal. So five points now for Carvery. We're tied up at one. 16-29 remaining here in your opening period. It was an explosion through the first two periods in terms of goals on Wednesday night. There were 17 goals through the first two periods. Only four in the third. This thing's finally tightened up. Ball to the far side. This speedy Nick Simpson, the captain. That's a nice assist the other night. Ryan Daly. Justin Graham. He's an assist man. Six assists this year for Justin. Far side, Bobby Green. He had the first two and last two goals in that Wednesday night win for the Bandits. Gorgeous pass, nicely picked up here on the near side by G. Clark. And DeVoe the save, or Boutin, sorry, the save. Niall Sear trying to shake free of Hannum watching him. And here's Alex Bungay. Hot shot, Green. No luck. The save for DeVoe. Ball on the far side corner to the blue line. Green. Bungay. Cutting through the zone. And the big save again. That was Logan Mosier who broke through. But the save for DeVoe. On the blue line is Chris Walker, and now deep into the zone with 14 on the shot clock. Walker hands off to McDonald. Hannum can't control. And Ryan Daly still with 24 on the shot clock, takes a hit from McDonald. 14.53 left. We're cruising along. First period was a long one. On Wednesday night, we had a lot of uh, penalties in that first period as well. I want to go along with the nine goals. Let's see if these guys can uh, acclimate to the heat as well. A lot of people in Halifax, runners and everybody else, getting some exercise in today, acclimating to a uh, about a 23, 24 degree day today. Especially hot in Dartmouth. Dartmouth always a couple degrees hotter than Halifax. And it was uh, it's slightly a scorcher over here in beautiful Dartmouth, especially in the downtown area around Lake Banook and Sullivan's Pond. 14 minutes remaining. Walker. Shot that goes just wide over the glass. And Boutin. We'll hand off to Trey Carvery. Carvery. To Liver. There's your announcement. Ud McDonald, Ambrose and Sangster with assists. So McDonald from Ambrose and Sangster, that's your Halifax goal. Over the glass. Back to the Lions. But again, the only lead the Lions had on Wednesday night was 8-7. Throughout the rest of the match, it was either a Bandits lead or a tie. But the Lions, at one point in the late stages of the second period, really looked like they were going to seize control of the game. 13-10 remaining in your opening period. There's Liver. Liver, pass too tall. And scooping it up and trying to attack here is Brandon Jedry. Jedry shakes free of Sear. McDonald takes the pass to Quinn on the far side, and now he'll set up on the near side corner. 12.45 remaining. Quinn in behind the net, watched by Niall Sear. Hannum, a shot and a save for DeVoe. Or Boutin, sorry. I get my goaltenders under control here. Bandits in the white uniforms, and the Lions in the black. There is Boutin on the near side. Here comes Adam Covey Duck. I haven't seen too much of Covey Duck over the past two days. But there's Covey Duck with his first touch. Ryan Daly trying to get in the middle. Can't get the shot off. Carvery absorbing contact from G. Clark. 
Streaking down the near side, four on the shot clock. Two on the shot clock. Gets a shot off. And here comes Hannum for the Lions. He'll hand off to McDonald again. McDonald taking his time, saunters into the zone on the near side. 18 seconds, great pass, and unable to get a shot off there was Meisner. A little contact over there. Meisner didn't like that late shove by the Bannis defenseman. Great crowd again here. Unbelievable the attendance this year so far for all the games we've done. We've had easily 150 to 200 people per game. And of course, in these small barns, that means jam packed stance. Daly. Daly. Up top. And there's Nussi. Nussi to Justin Graham. Graham. And a handoff here for Riley Ambrose. Ambrose again had an assist on that last goal. He'll set up here. Seven or 11-15 uh, remaining in this opening period. Hot shot. Doesn't get through. Bouncing high in the air off the glass. Back into the zone and picked up. Still 10 seconds on the shot clock. Riley Ambrose. And a shot that goes just wide. Not on net. There's a shot clock violation. All right, so 10.55 left to go here in this opening period. And make sure you reach out to us on the Twitter. Charlene out there watching. Thank you, Charlene. Giving us a retweet and a favorite on the Twitter. Or I'll read your tweets live on the air. Give you a retweet, give you a favorite. Live and interactive here on Community One. 10.25 to go in your opening period. Just one, two goals so far. That's well short of what we had going on on Wednesday night in the opener of this back-to-back home-and-home series. Trying to break through is G. Clark. Gets knocked down. Back to his feet is G. Gets knocked down again. Simpson picks it up. Now Simpson across the blue line. Across center. And still with it is Nick. 25 seconds, comes in open space and gets a nice round of applause from the Bandits faithful. Hands off to Nussie. Nussie, Sear, Justin Graham scores! Nussie, Sear, Justin Graham. Finishes it off. And this time the assist man, he's got uh, six assists as Justin to go with his two goals. Give him a goal now. And that's nine points this year for Justin. And also uh, 10 points now for Nussi on the assist. And Sear with an assist. That's his sixth point of the year. So 2-1 the first lead of the game for the Bandits. Good officials here tonight too. I've, Recognize these officials from when we did the lacrosse nationals about two years ago um, at the BMO Center, this huge national uh, girls lacrosse competition. And these two officials were frequently there. So we got a great, great competition. The officials, actually, I mean, I should say all the officials so far in the games that we've done have done an outstanding job. But just by familiarity from a couple years ago, I recognize the two we have tonight. Daly on the near side, meanwhile, 9.22. It is Sear. And Nussi. So again, just as the call, Graham, Nussi, Sear. A shot clock violation on the Bandits. Lions will take over on the far side with Phil Elford. And Elford hands off to McDonald. Again, make sure if you're also on the Twitter, make sure you follow the teams too. J R A Bandits, that's J R A Bandits on Twitter, and also H uh, N W Marley Lions. Carvery, a shot that goes just wide. 
follow the teams on Twitter. They do a great job of promoting the league, getting information out there, and also uh, the Lions as well do a lot of um, uh, highlight videos for the games. They'll put out a highlight video of all the goals. So make sure you follow both teams on Twitter as well to get your up-to-date information. Near side, Walker. And a shake free is Quigley. Quigley. There's Graham. Ball to the far side, Patty Quinn. Five goals this year for Patty. This fires that time. And here comes Lawrence Liver. Bungay. Sear. A little confusion there. And now here comes Nussi. Bungay. Bungay's a high scorer. He's got five points this year. Liver, a shot that goes wide. Bungay couldn't control the carom. Contact on the near side with Liver. Liver actually takes over. But as it knocked away, and onto the stick now of Clark Hannum. Hannum in behind the net, comes into space. He'll hand off and change. McDonald on the near side with it. McDonald right in, and no problem on that save for Boutin. A bouncing ball picked up by speedy Ryan Daly. And the save there for DeVoe. Well, back up top with it is Riley Ambrose. Ambrose again had an assist on that Lions goal. McDonald just misses up top. Again, one nothing for the Lions to get started, then two unanswered now by the Bandits. 6.30 remaining in your opening period. So six and a half left. Or 10 minute intermissions between each period. Those you most games last about two hours and real time. This one cruising along though, again, we haven't had our, a penalty called yet as well, so no penalties between these two teams. Been a good free-flowing game so far. As Boutin, as mentioned, he likes to pass from that goalie position. Daly, Bungay. And Bungay saunters into the zone, waits for teammates. Here comes Carvery, who scored the, fir who scored the first goal. Carvery gets a screen. Bungay rolls off it. Just over the top of his stick, but now has it with six on the shot clock. Scoops off for Carvery. Carvery spins to his left. But comes up short on the shot. With it on the far side, Lucas Kenny. Our first call for the big defender, Lucas. And again, here comes Riley Ambrose. Ambrose. Hands off for Walker. Walker into the zone. Puts a move on, tries to go between the legs of Boutin. No luck, ball bouncing around and finally scooped up by Boutin. And behind the net is Carvery. Misfiring on that pass to Liver. Liver couldn't pick that up. But Graham comes in to save the day and they get it across. Really struggling right now with the Bandits with basic passes. Nussi couldn't control that one. And now here comes the Lions in transition. So sloppy possession for the Bandits. Lions looking to capitalize on the near side with Hannum. Man cutting through the middle is Quinn. And a shot and a save for DeVoe. Or for Boutin again, sorry, for Boutin. Ball up top. Over the far side is Sangster. Pass comes through the middle. And Boutin has it. 4.20 left in your opening period. Boutin, dangerous pass. Got it to Lawrence Liver, though. Liver. And on the far side, our first look at Adam Connor. We saw Adam for about two seconds on Wednesday night. He got into a tussle right from the start and was ejected. He'll pass off and change. Three on the shot clock. Daly tries to split a pair up top and then puts a shot on. No problem on the save for DeVoe. Here's John McDonald. McDonald. 
Right down the middle of the floor. Walker, a tight angle shot. No problem on the save for Boutin. And Boutin again scoops it up. Three thirty. There's Ryan Daly. Justin Graham who scored the go-ahead goal right now at two to one. Nussi! Uh, no luck on the shot. Five on the shot clock. Bobby Green trying to work from that far near or far side. The violation on the Lions. Back this way comes Ambrose. Ambrose. Patty Quinn flashed out in front there for a second, but then spins back. There's Logan or uh, Sheldon Kennedy, or Sean Kennedy, sorry, against Sean, the other guy in that fight on um, Wednesday, who we only saw for a couple moments. He had the ejection as well. A little tussle with Adam Connor. Two and a half left. Ryan Daly working this left, left side flank. Cutting through is Bungay. Ball to the far side, Bobby Green trying to break down his defender. Gets a screen, paying the price for it was Nussie. He's back on his feet. Bungay gets around. Ambrose hit at the last moment by Langell, and the shot goes just wide. Here comes McDonald. Up top to Hannum. Shot right on in the save. That was Quigley. Fresh shot clock on the far side for Meisner. Hannum. Another save for Boutin. One thirty-eight to go. In your opening period. Again, moving quickly here, are we? Great chance in front. Patty Quinn, but he couldn't get in his stick. Bounces over and all the way back into the zone. Picked up there by DeVoe. DeVoe to Sangster. Sangster to McDonald. Ten on the shot clock. Here comes John. Patty Quinn. The captain fires, and it goes just wide. Four on the shot clock for John McDonald. There's your violation. 107 to go. And our first penalty is going to be on the Bandits. Logan Mosier. Good year so far for Logan. He's got three assists. And he'll sit for two minutes. 107 to go. Two minutes on the power play. We'll see if the Lions can give the Bandits a taste of their own medicine here. Of course, it was the Bandits on Wednesday night who had those late goals. Now on the power play, now the Lions. Quinn, a save by Boutin. And here comes Carvery. 50 seconds left. Carvery, nice pass. Simpson. And no luck on the shot. 45 seconds left. Here comes McDonald's. 130 left on the power play. McDonald's. Shot right on off the stick of Walker and the save for Boutin. He'll hand off to the big defenseman Grant Blackman. Blackman, no luck on the pass to Ryan Daly. So we'll see. If the, if the Lions can get something going here with 18 on the shot clock, or in the period. 12 left now in the period. There's Quinn up top. McDonald, eight seconds left. Quinn, six seconds. Shot that goes high, bounces back this way, and that'll do it for the Lions here in your opening period. We'll go to our second period with the Lions on a power play. They'll still have 53 seconds remaining on that power play uh, to try to tie this one up. All right, so you are watching the East Coast Junior Lacrosse League right here on Bell Alliant Community One, the leader 
and local sports webcasting in Atlanta, Canada. Great to have you with us on Friday night in Halifax. We're over here in beautiful Dartmouth at Shearwater Arena. 2-1 in this Battle of the Bridges. The Dartmouth Bandits leading the Halifax Lions. We never got a sis uh, announced on that first Dartmouth goal. We'll see if we can find out who that was. That was a great individual effort for Trey Carvery, but we'll find out if there was an assist. But Carvery uh, for Dartmouth along with Justin Graham, and it was John McDonald scoring for the Halifax Northwest Marley Lions. All right, contact information again on your screen. B. McLean Sports on Twitter. Hope to hear from you through other broadcasts. Let's see if we got some uh, tweets here right now, Ashley, before we sign off for the period. Again, we're live and interactive on Community One. Here's a, this is a good one. Uh, watching from Minneapolis. Nice. Really great. This is uh, the lacrosse news. Thanks very much, guys. Watching online in Minneapolis. Great to have you with us. Nice to get a look at uh, ECJLL action. Thanks very much, guys. Hope you're enjoying so far here in Atlanta, Canada. All right. So thanks to the lacrosse news in Minneapolis. We'll talk to you guys again here in about five minutes. We'll get you ready for your second period on Bella Lion Community One.
All right, friends, welcome back to Shearwater Arena. We're getting started here to, with our second period on Bell Alliant Community One, the leader in local sports webcasting in Atlanta, Canada. Great to have you with us on Friday night lacrosse night. In Dartmouth, and it's the Battle of the Bridges, the Bandits, and the Lions, the Dartmouth Bandits, and the Halifax Northwest Marley Lions. Lions in the black uniforms, Bandits in the white. A very quick moving first period. Only one penalty, and it's still being served. Over there by Logan Mosier. 53 seconds left in the power play. For the Lions. Lions again in black going right to left. And the Bandits in the white going left to right on the screen. Having a hard time scooping it up there is Neil McCallum. McCallum takes a hit from Daly. And Jedry and McCallum in behind the net of Brandon DeVoe. DeVoe still in net for the Lions. Boutin still in net for the Bandits. Two to one on goals by Trey Carvery. The assist on that Trey Carvery goal. But the Lions. The Lions score here as I hit, recap your first period scoring. But Walker ties it up. So we're tied up at two on the power play goal by Chris Walker. So we'll see if there's an assist on that. Uh, but uh, I was saying that first goal, Carvery, we weren't, we weren't sure who had an assist on that. But the first goal by Carvery for Dartmouth, give an assist to Graham. And then Graham scored with assists by Sear and Nussie. So now Justin Graham has 10 points on the season as well. Um, the goal scorer for Halifax Northwest was John McDonald, uh, set up by Riley Ambrose and Thomas Sangster. So that goal set up, or that goal scored by Chris Walker. We'll see if there's an assist. Great chance in front, so we're all tied up too right away. 20 seconds in, the Lions score. And now 19 minutes remaining in your second period. Back and forth we go in the early going of this one, of course, on the Wednesday night game. Again, it was a game of runs. Both teams exchanging three to four goal stretches of unanswered goals. 18.45 left. And up top to Bobby Green. Five on five here. Green goes to his right. John McDonald. And Patty Quinn. So no surprises there on the power play. Walker, McDonald, Quinn. And give McDonald two more points. Patty Quinn's first point. And Walker the goal. That's the fourth goal of the year so far for Chris Walker. And he's got five points on the season. Again, with those two John McDonald points, he now has 11 points on the season. 18 minutes to go. There's Nussie up top. That's a screen from Lawrence Liver. Trying to back down Hannum. And now going at Hannum. A little handoff for Bobby Green. Eight seconds for Bobby. Watched there by Patty Quinn. A screen set by Liver. Green in the save for DeVoe. Green throws the body hard on the far side. Taking big contact over there is Oliver Dixon. Our first call for Dixon. He absorbs a couple hits. And then maybe a little too rambunctious might have been Dan McEachern. We'll see what the call is here. Uh, it'll just stay with the Bandits. 17.30 remaining. Ball to the near side. And now up top, Lawrence Liver. Shot that goes just wide. From Niall Sear. All the way back to Boutin. Boutin quickly up to Lawrence Liver. Sear, nicely done. Graham just missing is Justin. And he's hands on head as he goes to the bench. Frustrated. Great pass. John McDonald back this way and a save for Boutin. Beautiful stretch pass. And then uh, Boutin's pass from the goalie spot hits the roof here. Again, one of the, a classic old barn here in Shearwater. The roof is not very high, to say the least. Ceiling, I should say. 
Saxton loses it. Here comes Liver. Nick Simpson. And a goal. Liver and Simpson score. So the captain. Definitely Simpson from Liver. And we'll see if there's an assist, a second assist on that as well. But the captain makes it 3-2. to two, And this trend continues of going back and forth now. Right back in the lead are the Bandits. Ball to the far side. And G. Clark, pass over the head of Walker. Off the of ricochet is Quinn, gets it back to My uh, Weisner. There's Meisner. Ambrose, locker save for Boutin, and then into the stick, and this time again off the ceiling, right at the tip there for Boutin. He loves to pass again and does it well. But having a hard time navigating it this ceiling at Shearwater Arena. 16 minutes left in the second period. So Simpson and Liver, only goal scorers in on that play. Simpson the goal, Liver the assist. And Liver's having, a good, having himself a good year so far as Lawrence. Two goals and three assists. Chance in front. And no luck for Riley Ambrose. Bouncing all the way back to center. Picked up by Patty Quinn. Haven't seen Patty break out yet. He was a hat trick scorer on Wednesday. And a save. And the ricochet over the glass. That'll stay with. Or go back to the Bandits. Here comes Ryan Daly. Daly. A little confusion on the handoff. Mosier has it now. Daly goes to the far side. Up top to Bobby Green. Green gets the screen. And now lots of space for Bobby. And he scores. The screen set by Logan Mosier. And that freed up Bobby Green. And Bobby goes in and scores his seventh goal of the year. So seven goals for Bobby on the season. He had four the other night, as mentioned. And he got sprung free on that great screen set by Mosier. 15 minutes to go. And now a little separation. This is the exact same score we had at Spryfield Lions Rink. Four to two at this point. Or uh, it was a, that was a first period score, but it, again, matching a 4-2 score that we had on Wednesday. G. Clark. And Clark scores. And now will the Lions come right back like they did on Wednesday to tie it up. They're one goal away now on the goal by G. Ball bounced around a bit. We'll make sure that it is G, but it was definitely G who shot it from about 10 feet away. Maybe 15 feet, we'll say. We're starting to open up a bit. Bobby Green scores. G Clark, we think, scores. We'll wait for the assists of both goal scorers. There's Nick Simpson again on the far side. Simpson. Bouncing around, shovels it off to Justin Graham. Graham quickly to Nick or to Nussi. Shot right on by Daly. No problem on the save. Trying to come free is McEachran. McEachran navigates his way through a pair of bandits. Trying to find a teammate. So it was Green. And Mosier got an assist as well. And Justin Graham. So three points for Justin. Green from Mosher and Graham, and I will wait for the Lions goal. It is G. Clark from Quigley. So Clark from Quigley. 
4-3. 15 on the shot clock. Up top, Lawrence Liver. On the near side, Logan Mosier. Mosier to Green. And a save. Nicely done there on the save for DeVoe. Rob Bobby Green, he was straight away. John McDonald with 13-10 to go in the second period. McDonald, 13 on the shot clock. Still with his John. Finds Patty Quinn, shot doesn't get through. Knocked away by Andy Vieira. Now speeding down the near side comes Adam Koviduk. B. McLean Sports on Twitter. Comments, feedback. Let us know where you're watching from, whether it be Halifax or across the country or Minneapolis. Of course, we had a, a shout out the other day from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. was uh, Peggy Laloon. 12-15, long-time lacrosse fans. Their sons, Joe and Andre, used to play in the circuit. But they're out there still watching. All bouncing around the blue line. A wild scramble for it. Kennedy. And shot clock expires. Liver. Graham. Nussi. 15 on the shot clock. Nussi. Far side. Bungay. And a shot. And a save for DeVoe. Scooped up quickly by Nussi. Another shot, this time by Ryan Daly, and another save for DeVoe. Over the top. In alone is Meisner, and over the crossbar. Great chance for Meisner. 11 minutes to go. Meisner again. And nearly snuck through. Boutet. Comes to Daly. Ryan. Three points so far this year for Daly. There's our first look at Brett. Or no, that's Bungay. I was going to say Himmelman, but that's Bungay again. Daly. Nussi. Nine points this year for Nussi. Spins free, fires. And a save for DeVoe. Actually, 10 points now for Nussi. He had an assist earlier. Back up top, Lawrence Liver. 10-15 to go. Liver. Sear and splitting about three bandits was that pass. Still 10 seconds to go, but taken away. And chugging down the near side is Dixon. Dixon over the top. Great pass for G. Clark. And Clark goes over the crossbar. G nearly had his second goal. 9.45 to go. Midway through this one now. Much different this game than a high, high scoring 21 goal game we had on Wednesday. It was right around now on Wednesday that the Lions made their charge and had control of the game for about five or 10 minutes. Again, that was a 12-9 victory though for the Bandits. Bandits 2-0 won the season. Lions 1-1. One one. Bandits have outscored their competition 26-14. Now make it 29 or uh, 30 to 17. Midway through their third game of the year. Sean McDonald. Throw it out in front. Great chance for Kennedy. Liver absorbs contact, gets it to Blackman. Blackman to Liver. 
Mosier, nice pass for Graham, but couldn't control. And then a little contact there from Lucas Kenny. Way down the floor here for Alford. Phil Alford, a shot and a save for Boutin. Back and forth we go. This one really starting to open up now. Ryan Daly can't find it. Ball on the floor. Sangster couldn't get there. Niall Sear picks it up. Sear scoots on pass and into the zone. 18 on the shot clock. Graham takes a hit. That'll stay with the Bandits. Meisner and Graham exchanging pleasantries. Fresh shot clock. Nussi. Five on five lacrosse. Again, we've only had one uh, penalty so far in this game, and the Lions did score on it. Chris Walker scored the power play goal. Six on the shot clock for Ryan Daly. Quick pass, great chance. Liver misses everything, and that'll be a violation on the Bandits. 7.46 to go. Ball in the middle, here comes a Liver. Liver trying to speed past it. Walker and does and scores. What a burst of speed that was for Liver. I was trying to identify the defender. It was Walker who was back. And Liver gets past Walker and scores. So back to a two goal cushion here. And that is the second point of the game for Liver. He now has a goal and assist. 7.30 to go. And a little water over there for DeVoe. The goaltenders will get some water again. It's, uh, it's humid at Shearwater Arena tonight. Temperatures into the mid-20s stay in the city. quite your midsummer stickiness that you get here in the Halifax area, but noticeably humid in the arena tonight. So water for the goaltenders. 7.30 to go. Two goal lead again for this Bandits team. And right away with it is Nasi. There's Carberry. Carvery comes free. A save for DeVoe. So it is Liver the goal. Didn't hear who that assist was. We'll have to get that for you during the break. On the far side, Hannum. Down to McDonald. That'll stay with the Lions. McDonald, watched by Liver, gets a screen from Hannum. Try to get Hannum on the roll, but no luck. McDonald into space behind the net. Nicely done for Hannum. Quinn up top, 15 on the shot clock. Good passing here, just missing the net. Was Gavin Quigley. Quigley again, has a hard time controlling that pass. Good look. Quinn right in a, a dangerous spot for the captain, Patty. But can't connect a rare miss from that area for Quinn. Six minutes to go in the second period. Big hit on the far side by Andy Vieira. Still with it is Hannum. And Clark with five points this year. Fresh shot clock. McDonald waiting for teammates. 23 on the shot clock. Walker comes out. McDonald, a tight angle shot. No problem for Boutin. Scooping it up is Quigley. Quigley trying to get it to Sangster. He gets knocked down. 
And here comes Liver on the far side. Bandits in the midst of a change. 23 on the shot clock. Liver gets knocked down again. More punishment from Walker. And now Walker picks it up. Three on one coming up here for the Lions. Quinn. Another save for Boutin. In close on Patty Quinn. Quinn's had his chances over the top. And that hit, would you believe that hit? A rope that comes from, it's almost like a, a clothesline, if you will, that goes from this side of the rink to the far side of the rink. And that pass hit the clothesline. And went over the stick of the, of the Bandits attacker. So a great chance for the Bandits, nullified by, I don't know what that rope is for, but it goes from this side of the rink to the other. And it got in the way of that pass. Ball bouncing. And picked up by G. Clark. Niall Sear. Knocked away by Meisner. Quigley can't get a shot off. Boutin. Nick Simpson. Now a timeout for the Bandits. And you can kind of see that coming. The Bandits were a little bit in disarray there for a minute or so, a couple minutes. And Nick Simpson calls timeout. Again, that's pure speculation on my part. That's, that's why he called the timeout. But Bandits with a two-goal lead here, 4-13 remaining. Uh, calm things down a little bit, get back into system. All right, so again, uh, a big weekend on the network. Uh, we have lacrosse, of course, tonight. Uh, we have rugby tomorrow. This is a great event. The Nova Scotia Rugby League sponsoring this event. It's at the Husky Stadium uh, in Halifax. I'll be there tomorrow with a... Uh, three or four different um, uh, color commentators. Lacrosse News, thank you very much for the uh, uh, tweet there on the, the game and, give, and providing the link for folks. That's a great thing. Make sure you get out there and, and make sure you spread that link around however you can, friends. Twitter, Facebook, email, whatever. Get as many people watching as we can. Uh, Cody Jeffrey Jedry. Cheering on Brandon Jedry. Thank you. This is Cody Jeffrey Jedry cheering on Brandon. Thank you, Cody. Um, but tomorrow we are at Husky Stadium for uh, Atlantic Rock Rugby. We got the U19 game at 1 o'clock, the women's game at 4, and then the Atlantic Rock team versus the Ontario Blues at 7. That's senior rugby all day tomorrow from uh, Husky Stadium. So make sure you join us for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. On a, what's supposed to be a beautiful day in the city as well, uh, in the south end of Halifax. So join us tomorrow for uh, outstanding national level senior rugby tomorrow from Husky Stadium. A nice Victoria Day treat. Breaking in. Great chance here for the Lions with Elford. And no luck for Phil. But we also have a volleyball going on right now from Moncton, the Jack Lawson uh, Middle Age, uh, Middle School Cup. Middle School Cup, big difference there between middle age and middle school. Um, grades uh, six through eight there in Moncton. That's a huge tournament. You can check that out as well. Three and a half left. Five on the shot clock for Bobby Green. We even have rope skipping going on this week. If you want to check that out from uh, Canada Game Center here in Halifax, the Canadian National Rope Skipping Competitions. That's, that's actually really neat. Got to check that out. They have a penalty coming up here. Officials are going to talk things over. Bandits fans wanted too many men. 2.59 to go in this second period. And Bobby Green is going to sit. So Bobby Green to the box. Um, and then baseball. The boys of summer are back. On Monday, we have Fredericton versus Moncton from Kiwanis Park. A rematch of last year's NBSBL title game or title series. And they're going to be honoring longtime volunteer Rod Wilson, who passed away this past winter. A longtime coach in the Moncton area. So Fredericton versus Moncton, 2 o'clock 
on Monday afternoon from Kiwanis Park in Moncton. Two penalties on the play. To the box goes Bobby Green and Lawrence Liver. So this is a five on three for the Lions for two minutes. Five on three for two minutes. What a chance for the Lions. There's Walker. All the usual suspects out there. Quigley, Quinn. Oh, man, oh, man. Sangster got rocked. He was trying to pursue that, and he got put down on his back by Carvery. He's okay. The hit of the game so far. 123 still to go. Great chance in front. That'll stay with the Lions. Quinn, Quigley, Walker, McDonald, Patty Quinn. A save for DeVoe. Or Boutin. There's McDonald. Right in front. Sangster all alone. And no luck for Sangster. Boutin scoops it up. 40 or 50 seconds to go in the power play. Five on three. A minute 45 still to go here in the second period. Chris Walker hands off to Patty Quinn. Near side, Quigley. Gavin, a tight angle shot. And will stay with the Lions. McDonald. Quinn gets it back from Sangster. His shot goes wide. Fresh shot clock for the Lions. Patty Quinn again. 18 left on the five on three. And I'll finally capitalize. And it's Hannum on the far side. So Hannum on the setup looked like Sangster. But they will score. 14 seconds still to go. On a five on four now. So make it a five on four. Hand him the goal. Five to four is your score. A minute 13 left in the second period. Justin Graham. I haven't seen Justin for a while. Surrounded by three Lions over there. Still with it. Justin comes away. The applause of the Bandits faithful. And now Simpson. Penalty expires, we're back to five on five. Simpson comes free. Not much on the shot. Six on the shot clock. And turning it over here and coming away is G. Clark. Clark scored the third goal. Oh man, Carvery again. Throwing the body. The second big hit in the last few minutes for Carvery, this time leveling G. Clark. Clark though, to his credit, right back on his feet. Gets the offense started, and he'll change. 16, two seconds on the shot clock. And a shot goes wide by Walker. 10 seconds remaining. She must got a piece of the net. Lions still with now. After the ball bounces around, great chance in front. Meisner denied by Bhutan. Two seconds remaining, and Meisner wide open in front. And now Kennedy and Ryan Daly talking to each other. Kennedy getting, having exchanges with multiple bandits now. But they had Meisner wide open in front. And the Lions came that close to tying this thing up here at five. But as it is, the big save for Boutin. And we'll finish our second period, five to four. Okay, so second period scoring here. Uh, Nick Simpson, Bobby Green, and Lawrence Liver for Dartmouth. Uh, Chris Walker, G. Clark, and Clark Hannum scoring for Halifax Northwest. First period goals again. Um, Trey Carvery 
and Justin Graham. And it was uh, John McDonald for Halifax Northwest. Multiple scores. Let's see here. John McDonald leads Halifax with two points. Justin Graham has three points to lead Dartmouth. And Lawrence Liver has two points as well as we wrap up our, uh, our second period. Okay, so don't go anywhere. There's lots more action still to come. You're watching Bella Lion Community One, the leader in local sports webcasting in Atlantic Canada on a huge Victoria Day weekend in the city. Coming right back with your third period. Again, contact information on your screen. B. McLean Sports. We'll talk to you in a few minutes here from Shearwater Arena.
Hello, friends, and welcome back to Shearwater Arena here in Dartmouth. We're ready to go with our third period. 5-4 right now, the Bandits leading. The Halifax Northwest Marley Lions. Been a good one so far. Biggest lead of the game has been two goals. The Bandits led 4-2 and 5-3. The last goal of the game was scored by the Lions. The power play goal for Clark Hannum from Sangster. That's where we stand now, 5-4. The 2-0 Bandits. And they've now outscored their competition 31-18 this season. And the 1-1 one one, Halifax Northwest Marley Lions. They've actually now been outscored so far this season. They've been outscored 20, uh, 23 to 22. But a long way to go. Again, uh, a really quick one so far, too. Only two pen- or three penalties called, two of them on the Bandits at the same time. Aside from that, this thing is just cruised right along as we get ready to start our third period on Bella Lion Community One. Great to have you with us. Bandits in the white uniforms, Lions in the black. Let's get started for our third period. 5-4 for the Bandits. And B. McLean Sports on Twitter to reach out to us. Contact information right there on your screen. Ball on the far side. 5-on-5 five five lacrosse to get us started. And over the far side, there's Meisner. Meisner had that great chance to begin or to end the second period. Wide open in front behind the defense. But Bhutan made the big save on him. 19-20 still to go here. And breaking down the near side. Ryan Daly, he takes the big hit. And a goal! Daly hangs in there. Got a hit a couple times from Meisner. And pushed away from the net, but then scores. And again, another two-goal lead here. Third two-goal lead of the game for the Dartmouth Bandits. That's the fourth point of the year for Ryan. So Bandits on the board, one minute in. And on the near side, here comes McDonald. McDonald. Hannah. Trying to shake free here is Grant Blackman. Blackman made the great play the other night. If you remember, he got that, uh, I think it was the 11th goal for the Bandits. Got the play started from the defensive end with a great clearing pass. That goes over the stick of Sear. 18-20 still to go. And a shot right on by Bobby Green. And a save for DeVoe as the shot clock expires. Another assist for Logan Mosier. So that's Logan's second assist of the game and his fifth assist of the season. Well, bouncing around on the near side. Sear can't pick it up. Chris Walker. McDonald. McDonald up top. And finding, coming into space and just missing there. A great chance for Gavin Quigley as he broke free. McDonald, a shot and a save for Boutin. Boutin quickly to Liver and Liver, and that's going to be deemed too early there for Nussi. He came off. So back to McDonald. Walker takes a big hit from Sear. And Sear avoids McDonald. Avoids Hannum and Sear quickly to Justin Grant. Graham across center. Got speed for a big man. Chugs into the attacking zone. Back up top. Carvery into space. A tight angle shot. Gets the rebound. Another shot on and a save for Bhutan. 
or DeVoe, sorry. Patty Quinn scores! So finally Quinn breaks loose. That's Patty's sixth goal of the year. That gets it back to a one goal game. We'll wait for the assist, but Patty Quinn, or Patty Quinn, definitely the goal scorer. So Patty Quinn, six to five. And on the near side, a big scramble here. Ryan Daly. Ball bounces all the way in behind the net. There's Adam Connor. Connor absorbs contact. 16 22, still to go. All on the far side. And through the zone is Oliver Dixon. Dixon to John McDonald. Just over 16 minutes still to go. McDonald's looking for a teammate, now in behind the net. 16 on the shot clock for John. Patty Quinn. Quinn takes a big hit from Ryan Daly. And Boutin will pick it up. Boutin, a wayward pass. Daly struggling, now he does have it. 15.35 to go. There's Liver. Lawrence over on the far side. Nussi, Sear, five on five. Bungay up top to Bobby Green, cutting through, and a low shot by Sear that goes just wide. Shot clock violation on the Bandits. 15-10 to go. Coming down the near side is Ambrose. Chris Walker, McDonald. Tight angle shot, looking behind him momentarily there was Bhutan, but he's got it. 14.45 left, there's Sear. Sear to Justin Graham. And taking it away, and here comes G. Clark, looking to tie this one up. And a save by Bhutan. So Clark in alone. Bhutan makes maybe his biggest save of the game so far. Trying to get it to Nussie. Nussie corrals it and shakes free of Clark. 14-20 to go. And this one is skipped along here. Sear rolling to the bat or the net is Graham. Gets a shot off and the save by DeVoe. Nussi. Justin Graham. Sear screen and popped out. Misses the pass. Picked up by Liver. Near side Sear from Green. Breaks in. And missing on the near side. And over the glass. It'll go back to the Lions. 13-42. Still to go. Inside Walker. And Walker misses everything. Wants the deflection. Won't get it. Simpson. And Bungay. Bungay. Up top. Ryan Daly. Nice play, Carberry. A scores. Trey Carberry, his second of the game. Number seven scores the seventh goal. He got the scoring started as well for the Bandits, so now the first and last goal so far does Trey Carberry. And Carberry, six goals now on the season. So the sixth goal of the year for Carvery, and once again, this is the third, well, the fourth, sorry, this is the third two-goal lead 
for the Bandits. Four, two, five, three, six, four, and now seven, five. Every time the Lions have closed to within one. 12.45 to go. Green, a shot right on and a save by DeVoe. Down the far sideline, just under the stick of Sangster. Sear. Poked away momentarily. Now with it is Nile. Bobby Green. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Justin Grant. This Carvery. And Ryan Daly, the assist. So two points on the night now for Ryan, the goal and the assist. 12 minutes to go. Rutan gets it down as the shot clock expires. There's Meisner. Meisner wide open in front is Sangster and the save for Bhutan. So nice look, Meisner to Sangster. But Bhutan the save in close. Liver will hand off to Ryan Daly. 11.35 to go. Daly saunters to the far side, near side, sorry. Gets a screen from Bungay. Green Bungay skips one just wide. 11.20. There's McDonald. McDonald, Walker. Rolling is McDonald, cutting through. Was Kennedy, he'll take the hit for his trouble. Bhutan didn't like the way Kennedy was in his area. And here comes Daly, watched by McDonald. Here comes Justin Grant. What a good night for Justin, three points. Now is 11 points on the year. Carvery, the two-goal man. Somehow gets it across the far side for Greer. No luck on the shot. That was Nussie, check that. 10-20 to go. Got a great uh, reach out on Twitter here. This is uh, Alex Hines watching in Lloyd Minster. Cheering on the Bandits. Former Bandit watching from Lloyd Minster, Saskatchewan. Go Dartmouth. Thanks very much, Alex. Great to have you with us. Had a good day there. Good night in Saskatchewan. So Bandits alumni checking in. Six seconds for the Bandits on the shot clock. The shot goes just wide from Bobby Green. Sangster pouncing on it was Bungay, but coming in to support is Meisner. 9.35 left. McDonald. In front, no luck hooking up with teammate Gavin Quigley. Now McDonald, 24 on the shot clock. And we got some pushing and shoving on the near side here between the two number nines. This is Sear and Clark Hannum. Referees get in there. But Sear and Hannum, I believe, will both go to the box. But again, thanks for reaching out on the Twitter. And again, Alex Hines, the former bandit, watching. And Lloyd Minster, great to have you with us. 9.15. So four on four here. A minute 45 still to go on it. And up top is Walker. Walker washed by Daly. Nine minutes to go. Cutting through is Patty Quinn, the save by Boutin, and then the shot goes just wide from Walker, bounces into the bench of the Bandits. Now 
the near side comes Justin Graham. Well, the Bandits will take their turn. On the four on four, Carvery goes flying into the net. Yeah, he'll have some words with multiple Lions now as he originally had the conversation with DeVoe and then the Lions got in there as well. Cooler heads prevail. A little chippy out here now as and this Lions team looking at losing back-to-back -back games now to this Bandits team. If, with the win, the Bandits would go to 3-0 on the season. McDonald trying to get free on Carvery. Carvery stays with. 55 left on the four on four. Nice look. Meisner just beyond his stick. Kennedy. That'll be a penalty on Kennedy as he got over there and laid out Colin Liver. Blackman comes over to have words with Kennedy. But it will be Kennedy to the box. Officials over there in front of the bandits calming everybody down. And Blackman. Oh, Blackman. He'll go to the box as well as he got in there. To show his disappreciation with Kennedy on the hit on Liver. And now Blackman will go to the box as well. So once again, we'll have coinciding penalties. So again, one of the major storylines that we've talked about throughout the game has been the lack of penalties. Only three penalties through the first two periods. But now the, a flurry here in the middle stages of this final frame. 48 seconds still to go in the first two penalties. Two minutes on the board for the next two. Yeah, referees over there explaining to team captains. All right, so you're on Community One. On a big weekend, Victoria Day weekend in Halifax. And again, in Atlanta, Canada, your webcasting leader coming through for you. With lacrosse, rugby, volleyball, baseball, even rope skipping for you as well. We even have harness racing from PEI if you want to check that out. So make sure you bookmark the website community1.bellalliant.ca or weekly or every day the schedule updated. Another penalty coming up on the Bandits. So right now three on three for 32 seconds. But we got another penalty coming up on Dartmouth. 7.54 still to go. All right, the high stick. So three on three. And then a four on three, I believe, for the Lions. Great chance here for Halifax. Four times the Bandits have stretched to a two goal lead. Blackman got a cross checking penalty. High sticking was the call on Liver. 7.15 to go. All right, so what do we have here? Four on three for the Lions, but they're trying to get it from Ryan Daly. Four on three for 58 seconds, and then five on four for a minute 46, streaking down the far side and unable to get a shot on was Quigley. Nick Simpson picks up the loose ball, and he speeds away on the far side. Simpson. Goes high on the shot. And that guy's got wheels to burn. That's Simpson. And flat out fly. 640. 
Walker exchanging with Quint. Shot goes just wide and into the stance. Heads up over there on the far part of the stance. A rare. You don't often see that. The ball coming over the net. Well, that one snuck through. Another chance for Walker. No luck. 18 seconds left on the four on three. 6.20 left. Walker. And that'll go back to the Bandits. Last touch by Walker over the glass. Unable to get the pass was Green. And Bandits fans to my right here are not happy about that. All right, so now five on four for 45 seconds. Here's Hannah. Both teams getting organized. 20 on the shot clock for the Lions. Pivotal power play here for Halifax Northwest. Great save, another big collision. More pushing and shoving afterwards. Quigley getting knocked around after he put the hit on Brett Himmelman. Our first call of Himmelman. Now Himmelman exchanging words with Hannum. Quigley is going to get a penalty. So Quigley goes off. Himmelman goes off. And that power play will be nullified for Halifax Northwest. And now a four on four for 28 seconds. And then a five on four for the Bandits. They could use that chance to get a nice three goal cushion here. Eight to seven was the score for Halifax Northwest on Wednesday night. Before Dartmouth put up three goals in a row. Four goals in a row, sorry. Made it 11-8. to eight. Went on to a 12-9 victory. 5.40 still to go. This is your four on four. With it is Justin Graham. 15 on the shot clock. Carvery, two goals already for Carvery. Spins to the front of the net. And a violation. Five and a half still to go. Eight seconds on the four on four. Now here's your power play for the Bandits. Liver will stay out there. McDonald. Still with it is John. Two points so far for McDonald. He now has 11 on the year. Runs into Ryan Daly. And Liver picked up by Chris Walker. 4.53 still to go. One minute remaining on the power play. Sangster. Sneaks past Carvery. Vieira comes over. And Vieira. And that'll stay with the Lions. 4.37 still to go. Walker. Takes the shot. Back up top to Hannum. Hannum has a goal tonight. Scored the fourth goal for the Lions. Connor. Staying with Hannum. Hannum still with. Over the stick of Patty Quinn. Scramble in the far side corner. Simpson's over there along with Colin Liver. Not much doing on this power play, to say the least, for the Bandits. Ball has been in a stick of Halifax Northwest. Let's see if they can set up here. Justin Graham. That's who they want up top with it. Green, Graham, Green. And a goal! Bobby Green. Cutting through was Justin Graham. Created space for Bobby. Comes to the middle and fires. And the second goal of the game for Bobby Green. So Bobby now with eight goals on the year. Well, he's your goal scorer, that's for sure. Eight goals, three assists, 11 points this season for Bobby. And it's a three-goal game. So will that be all enough, or will that be enough for the Bandits here? All they'll need to move on to the third victory of the season. Right now, 2-0. and 
Looking to stay undefeated. As we are just getting started with our 2015 season. Again, of course, we have all Bandits, Lions, and Hurricanes home games throughout the regular season. So a 24-game schedule throughout regular season play for you here from the Halifax area. Just over three minutes left. Graham an assist, and Nussie. So all the usual suspects there. Green, Graham, Nussie. All three players now above 10 points on the season. 2.48 left to go. And back to the Bandits. The near side, Ryan Daly. And Bandits fans starting to feel that this one is theirs. Are we looking at a home and home sweep here for the Bandits over the last three nights? They had the 12 9 victory at Spryfield, now leading 8 5 here in Shearwater. Bungay knocked down. Ryan Daly still with, with a fresh shot clock. Sear, 2 10 left. Ball to the far side, a low shot by Mosier. Two assists tonight for Logan. Here comes G. Clark. G scored the third goal for the Lions. McDonald's, 145 remaining. Meisner couldn't control. Been a tough night for, or tough, yeah, tough night for Meisner around the net. Has had chances. And the big one, of course, at the end of the second period. With two seconds left. Maybe a huge momentum changing save that was by Bhutan. That would have tied it up heading in to the third period. One fifteen left. Lions, six attackers on the floor. McDonald's, Walker. McDonald's cutting through. Sangster bounces over the net. Sixty seconds left. Here's the captain, Simpson. Walker. Fifty-three seconds left. There's McDonald. Walker. Easy save on that shot by Bhutan. 40 seconds remaining. Hannum. McDonald gets knocked down. And Niall Sear. That will go with the Lions. Quinn gets hit by Carvery. Hannum. Walker. Not much luck on that tight angle shot tonight for Chris. Scored one goal on it. 23 seconds left and some hostilities here. And bitter rivals are these two teams. And the Bandits slamming the boards. McDonald getting into it now. Bandits are feeling it. A sweep of this Lions team this week. Three and oh on the season. Outscoring their comp their competition 34 to 19 in the process. McDonald thought the penalty was on him, it was actually on Patty Quinn. That's a four-minute penalty as well. And confusion here. I think, oh, McDonald's going to serve as well. So McDonald and Quinn over there.
20 seconds left. And you can see and hear the bandits. They are fired up on the far side. Fans starting to come to their feet in appreciation. Back-to-back -back wins for the Bandits over the Lions here. 12-9 on Wednesday night. 8-5 tonight in Shearwater. Bandits are 3-0. The Lions will drop to 1-2. Got to wrap up our second week of coverage in the East Coast Junior Lacrosse League. Back with you on Wednesday night. From Spryfield Lions Rink. That is uh, the Lions. Back on the uh, network, I believe it's versus Sackville. But again, back on the air Wednesday night from Spryfield with the Lions hosting. It'll be our third look in a row at this Halifax Northwest team. They'll try to rebound after two disappointing losses to the Bandits. Bandits feeling really good about themselves here now as they leave the floor. <laughs> Applause from the faithful. Nice win for Dartmouth. Uh, goal scorers again, Trey Carvery had two, Justin Graham had one, Nick Simpson had one, Bobby Green had two, Ryan Daly had one, and Lawrence Liver scoring for the Bandits. John McDonald scoring for Halifax. Chris Walker, G. Clark, Clark Hannum, and Patty Quinn all tallying for the Halifax Northwest Marley Lions. Friends, you've been watching a live presentation of Bella Lyant Community One, the leader in local sports webcasting in Atlanta, Canada, the East Coast Junior Lacrosse League. Back with us on Wednesday night. We are live from Spryfield, so make sure you join us then. Your final score tonight from Shearwater, 8-5 to five for the Bandits. We'll talk to you soon, but for now, goodbye from Dartmouth. Thank you.